Okay, pretty much everything is connected and ready to go. The power's on right now. The only thing that's not hooked up right now is this connector. This is for the LED in the end of the remote MG34. I have to hook that up right before I flip the top. Everything else is on and live, and, and it's... Uh, the elevation is... Um, or traverse... Now the servos and the sound system are kind of sensitive and you got to be careful with the dial if you don't want a little bit of hum. Uh, I have to look into that more and see if that's going to do any damage. Elevation works well. Traverse working well. Main gun. Did you feel the trigger move? Try it again. CO2 is not connected. That's what it takes to cock it. And then after that, with CO2 on, it'll be uh, semi-automatic. Uh, you might recall that the uh, trigger servo used to be a lot slower. Ian helped me out with that. Ian's been really great about helping me out with all the modifications I've done to the IBU. I've asked the IBU to do some things that it really wasn't designed for. You know, <laughs> it was not set up to be tr uh, pulling triggers on paintball cannons, that's for sure. So, anyway, everything is uh, pretty much ready to go. Um, I'm using the uh, headlight circuit for the laser pointer. But it is really, really weak. Okay, here it is right on the wall. I'm going to zoom in on it and see if we can see it on the video. I can barely see it myself in person. Oh, I can see it on the screen. There it is right there. There's the red dot from the laser pointer. I wonder how it's going to show up on the screen with the FPV camera. I'll, uh, I'll move it just a bit. See, there's the red dot. You guys bored yet? <laughs> oh, if I can sink that red dot to the paintball cannon, that's going to be the hardest part. Getting the paintballs to land where that red dot is. But if I can, if I can tune it in, that's going to be something special. <laughs> and uh, here, let me show you. That, um, I'll turn it off. It's on the headlight circuit. I just go uh, left stick down right for five seconds and bam, it's gone. That's pretty cool. Let me uh, show you the smoke. Got the smoke unit now. Had the volume turned way up. <laughs> Got the smoke unit running on the IBU now just to try it and see. I was running it on straight battery power. Now it takes a second for it to start smoking. But the way I've got the entire exhaust plumbed with uh, with pipe, I think it'll be okay. It'll just take it a second to get to the end, but I think that might be enough smoke. Now I've got the SD card set at 100%, so I might be able to tone down my initial to like 75% and still get some proportional effect. I just don't know how good the proportional effect is going to be because it's got to go such a long distance from the uh, smoke unit. To the, you know, to the exhaust pipe at the other side of the muffler. It probably goes a good seven or eight inches altogether at least. But anyway, we'll see how that works out. But it does solve another problem, and that is having on-off for the smoke from the transmitter. With it running on the IDU, I don't have to worry about putting in a uh, receiver-controlled on-off switch just for smoke and using up another channel. So... For some reason, I get a lot less hum when the main volume is turned way up. So anyway, that's where we're at. But it's raining outside. I really want to. I really want to charge this right here. This is the last connection. I want to make this connection right here. 
And you can see that's the on off switch. Now one thing that's going to be cool is I can reach that right through this hatch. I can stick my skinny little fingers in there and uh, turn on the uh, paintball so I can have the system you know still not charged when I'm putting everything together but I can have the gun cocked and then once everything's all buttoned up and ready to go I can just reach in there and flip that little knob and that charges the paintball cannon after that it'll be semi-automatic every time I pull the trigger it'll shoot a paintball uh, I really want to test it but it's really really raining <laughs> we'll see what happens and we'll see you next time